top of his pear tree, David Cassidy lands in a Las Vegas spectacular. So come along and we'll uh, travel some time. Yeah. And come on, get happy has found something to make him very happy. Up next, come along and we'll uh, travel some time together. It's a partridge-style party as David Cassidy leads a spectacular Las Vegas review. I love lifting people up and bringing light into their life and getting them excited and getting them off their feet and uh, rocking. There's a show that's about to begin. There's a $40 million holiday extravaganza on stage in Las Vegas. It doesn't have three French hens or two turtle doves, but it does have a partridge in the lead and a stunning array of spectacular special effects. E.T.'s Chris Raggy captures all the magic. Are you saying I got the part? You got it. Oh, right. He is best known for his role as teen heartthrob Keith Partridge. Along with his TV siblings and real-life stepmom, they were a 70s hit. Now, David Cassidy is flying high on the Las Vegas stage. David is taking over for Michael Crawford in the effects show at the MGM Grand. The version with Crawford was a dark story, something that didn't fit Cassidy's style. I couldn't have done what was being done here. I love lifting people up and bringing light into their life and getting them excited and getting them off their feet and uh, rocking. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take you all on an e-ticket ride with me, and you get to do what I get to do every night. So come along and we'll uh, travel some time together. Come with me. The character Cassidy plays is a man who regains his imagination and finds the magical powers in life. There's a lot of me in it in that sense that I have taken a, a rather remarkable journey in my life and my career. Up until now, David never had to face enormous dragons, aliens from space, or an intergalactic circus, but he invites us to come experience the rest. You want to see the rest of it? Come and see FX at the MGM Grand in Vegas. See ya! Bye-bye, David. Now, you'd never know it by watching this show, but David says he had a fear of heights when he accepted the starring role. Now he flies through the air with the greatest of ease, and he owes it all to a few sessions with a hypnotist. Bob Jones. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot.